Hey y'all. If my lips is ashy, ignore it, okay? I wanna show y'all this hat. Now, if you see a couple of little gizmos, hairs on it, don't worry about that. So, this is the... It's got so many different names on YouTube. I've heard it called the Bucket Ruffle Hat. I've heard it called the Summer Ruffle Hat. It's, I don't, and, and I don't know where it originated. But this is my version of the hat. So it is, you start out with a beanie in the round. And then when the beanie fits your head, and this one is a little big for my head, but I think I'm going to wear it anyway because I definitely would not give away something that I worked this hard for. This ruffle part was a lot because after you finish the beanie, you work the ruffles. I ran out of this yarn about right here. I ran out of this color yarn and I just was just improvising with colors that were already in the hat because I was gonna run out of black too. I was like, well, I'll just do the ruffles in black, but I was running out of black too. And I didn't want to go to the store because it was raining. The ruffles, because I have arthritis and my wrist gets, my wrist and my fingers get tired, the ruffles alone took me three days. And that's because I kept starting, you know, I would get tired and I would put it down and I would pick it back up. And so it took me three days to just do the ruffles. The ruffles are a lot, but I'm gonna put it on so y'all can see what it looks like. So this is the hat. I'm gonna turn around. I hope you can see it if I turn around. So the ruffles do go all the way around the hat. All the way around. It's not heavy. I thought it would be a little bit heavier than this and you can wear it you know wherever you want the color so if you want the multicolor in the front the black in the front the green or whatever you, wherever you want the color at is you know where you can wear it and with me having these hot flashes i don't know if i would do hat and wig only because it would be a lot. And I do, you know, still have the flashes. I'm still going through the change. So, this is my bucket hat. Now, people have already asked me, would I make this hat for them? And with this hat and myself, having arthritis and it's going to take me days to make this hat. I'm going to say that I probably wouldn't because I don't think people would be willing to pay, you know, me for my time like that. So I probably like, I probably will not make any of these for sale because they are tedious. Now, for somebody with young hands that don't have arthritis hands, and I've seen girls on social media who, who is, you know, churning, 
these hats out. I don't know how much they selling them for because I haven't checked. And if I do find a seller, I will look and see how much the person is charging for these hats. Because I know a lady on Facebook was um, making them and selling them. But I didn't see how much she was selling them for. And, and she is a crocheter. And she knows that I crochet. So I'm going to ask her, like, how much is she selling hers for? And I get a ballpark. And if it makes sense, then I might. But honey, you can't tell me nothing of my little hair. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing, honey. If I make this in an all-white all white them church sisters will lose their mind they will be stepping up in the church claim do you hear me but i don't know if i'm gonna do all that but i just want you guys to see it in all her glory because she is a beauty she most definitely is a beauty and the thing was i didn't think that i could do it i didn't think that I had the ability to crochet this. And I don't know why. I was scared to try it. Like, I saw this hat last year, and I was like, oh, I know I ain't going to be able to do that. But I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doubting myself and stop telling myself that I can't do stuff because I can do it. I am extremely talented. So, this is my hat. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.